All right, back in the basement again today. I wanna to talk a little bit about Gymway USA, some of the products that they offer. I haven't seen a lot of YouTube videos on them, but I believe they have a bigger overseas footprint than they do here in the States. But they're a company based out of Taiwan that offers some really commercial grade products. And to me, what commercial grade means is built to last, meaning both aesthetically, meant to be in a you know commercial setting where lots of people are gonna use it and abuse it and it's still gonna look like it's a decent bar, but also in how it performs. So it could take a beating and keep on ticking, if you will. And these things definitely live up to that, as well as the other products that I've since bought because I like the construction of the barbell that I have so much. But let's talk about the barbells first, right? These are their competition powerlifting bars. Competition meaning they meet IPF specs, so you're gonna have some standard stuff in terms of the length of the bar, where the neural marks are, a center neural. You'll also notice that this one weighs 20 kg instead of 45 pounds, but all pretty standard for any competition bar in that regard. These bars are coated in chrome, and although there are two, all the specs for the most part are identical, except for the fact that the top bar is known as a standard knurling. The bottom one is known as an aggressive knurling. So it's like a 0.2 millimeter difference. It's not really that much on paper, but you could definitely feel it. And I'll kind of show you some close-ups in a second. I'll talk about the knurling in a little bit. And it has a passive center knurl. So if that's important to you, that might be a selling point on this particular bar. Some of the things I wanna call out, are, again, are the construction and quality of this. Really top notch, really like what they do here. The bushings they use here are a gunmetal bushing and they have a patent on the bushing system that they use. On their website, it says it's tuned down to minimize spin for powerlifting because they do offer weightlifting bars and cross training bars. Uh, but on these ones, it says the spin is tuned down. I'm not sure how accurate that is to be honest, but they do have the patent listed on their website if you wanna check it out and learn more about it. But overall, the aesthetics and build quality of this bar are super high and I'm a big fan of it. They also have some nice finishing touches like on the inside of the sleeves themselves. They have some laser etching of the company name, the bar name, as well as serial numbers for the bar. You typically don't find that unless it's on a higher end like Aleco bar. So it's really nice finishing touches that set this bar apart. You also have different end caps on this. It's not your traditional snap ring design. They're pressed in. Looks really good overall. And one of the big selling points on this bar for many of you out there will be the fact that the sleeves themselves are completely smooth. I'm talking no ribs, baby. So all smooth sleeves on this bar, if that kind of thing is your bag, baby. Now, coming into the actual use of the bar, it's a 216K tensile strength, so very strong, holds up very well. Pretty stiff because the collars themselves aren't very thick either. A little bit thinner to what you'll find on a 45 pound Ohio Power Bar, but not so thin to some of the competition bars you'll see from Aleco or even the 20kg Ohio Power Bar, where it's going to be putting the plates abnormally close to your rack. So I actually prefer a collar about this size. Not too thick, but not too thin either. Just right. It's like Goldilocks and the Three Bears, right? So overall, this thing performs great for squatting, benching, and deadlifting. Now, when I first got this first bar, which was the one on top, the standard neural, I did note that it's kind of mild, but as the name denotes, it's standard. So it's not anything deep, aggressive. Both bars are coated in chrome, so that's going to dull the feeling some. I would reach back to Jim Wayne and said, you know, if you guys got away from the chrome finish or maybe went a little bit deeper on the knurling themselves, it would probably be a little bit better, at least for my taste, I do like a sharper, more aggressive, grippy feeling bar. They then later came out with this bottom bar, which is their more aggressive neural, which is cut deeper. And I gotta say, it does feel tremendously better, while still not, in my opinion, being what I would consider aggressive. This is more what I would say is gritty. If you take a look at the neural pattern up close, there's smaller actual cuts in it, which means that it's more of kind of like a fine sandpaper feel, which does give you good grip without digging into your hands too much or being sharp or overly aggressive. The interesting thing about the bottom bar being the more aggressive one is it was taking this bar for me to actually notice that the center neural was more passive. On the top bar, there's not a tremendous difference between the two unless you're pixel peeping, but on the bottom, there's a notable difference between the two, so much so in fact that I had to look it up on the website to make sure that this was supposed to be passive because I was like, this is a different type of neural. Um, so depending on, again, your preferences, both bars here offer some decent grip, which I would say is more on the passive to mild side, depending on what you're looking for. The good news is, is the price difference between these two isn't tremendous. So the top bar, the standard neural retails for $329. The bottom bar, the aggressive bar retails for $339. So you're talking a $10 difference, depending on if you want a 
sharper, more aggressive neural or not, which is great because for instance, Rogue recently came out with their aggro bars, which on average are like $100 more in order to get that more aggressive knurling type. So the fact that Jim Way's doing it for about $10 difference is pretty cool because it's really more up to your preference versus your budget, which is a nice thing to see. So overall, I think these are decent bars. Again, I wouldn't say that they're most aggressive out there. So if you're looking for something super sharp, this probably isn't the bar for you. But if you're looking for something that's going to hold up extremely well, maybe have multiple people using, maybe you just want a bar that's a little bit grippy, but it can be really an everyday bar where you're not gonna have to worry about your hands getting torn up. Or if you're looking for something with a passive center neural that is a power bar and actually 29 millimeters versus which you'll typically find in like a 28 and a half or a 28 millimeter bar. Or maybe you're looking specifically for those smooth sleeves because you don't like the sound that it makes taking plates on and off. This could be a very good bar for you. And again, there's two options between it. Now I mentioned the price already, 329 or 339. You can actually use code BASEMENT to save 5% off if you're interested in either of these. I'll put the link in the description box below. But for the price, it's decent, right? And especially when you consider Jimway offers $25 flat rate shipping on their barbells for anywhere in the continental USA, you're looking at a pretty good deal, comparatively speaking, when you take a look at some of the other stuff that's up for sale and up for their competition. So that's the competition, Jimway USA powerlifting bar. Let's take a look at a couple other things that I have from them before we end the video. All right, so one of the things that really caught my eye on their site were these CNC'd machined change plates. Now I've seen some of these overseas from other brands. I hadn't really seen anything available here in the United States. So when I saw that Jim Way carry these, I was like, I gotta have them. They're super nice and super unique. And as you can tell, the finish on these things is just amazing because again, it's actually CNC. It's not a mold, it's not a cast, anything like that. These things are specifically made and they're awesome looking and a good reason why a lot of people end up using these in powerlifting competitions because they're accurate and they're really, really aesthetic. Now, for me, I have some odd sizes just because again, I have a lot of weights here. So I went and opted for the one kg plates and the two kg plates. So this lets me get pretty creative. So when I'm eking out those PRs, like you might do in a powerlifting competition to chip a weight, so to say, these things will allow you to do it. They also offer the standard things of like, you know, one and a half, two and a half, and five kg plate versions of this. They don't offer anything bigger at this time, only because I'm imagining that machining a plate that big and that heavy is going to be a very costly and time intensive uh, experience. But as is, these things are really cool and I like them a lot. And they're probably some of the most aesthetic plates that I own. And one of the reasons I got them, even though they don't match that Stormtrooper theme that I'm going here for in the basement. All right, so the last thing I bought from them was actually probably the most expensive thing. And again, I was so impressed with the barbells and the other things that I had bought. I said, I have to have something like this. And that is a bumper plate. Now, surprisingly enough, I've owned bumpers in the past. I've sold them. My big concern with the bumpers is they were too big. And then I want really thin with competition style plates, which eventually led me to machined plates. However, I'm getting into more different types of lifting. I like to do different things just to keep things fresh. And I wanted to pick up a set of bumper plates and I thought, you know, I really like the quality of what I've gotten from them so far. Let me go ahead and just buy a whole set of bumper plates. So I bought their 140 kg set, which comes with pairs of 25, 20, 15, and 10 kg plates. And these are their elite cross training series in black. So they match the aesthetic that I really like. And these are really nice plates. One of the things I like best about them is number one, the look, they look cool with this black and with the uh, silver hub inserts here, which are pressed in one piece. None of those screws that I've had to deal with in the past with some of my other competition style bumpers, but also the thickness. So the 20 kg plates, which are kind of the 45 pound equivalent are about 1.8 inches thick. So they're not super thick. In fact, they're thinner than the rogue deep dish plates. And even the 25 kg plates, which are 55 pounds are about two and a quarter inches. So still very thin relatively speaking, when it comes to the competition style. Now, I went and bought this one set. I've liked it a lot so far. I've been able to work it in for certain things, especially when I'm dropping the plates on the ground. So for like pendlay rows and whatever, but I'm thinking eventually I want to get into doing more like power cleans and stuff like that, just to, again, spice it up a little bit. I've since actually updated my rack, which I'll do in another video and kind of show you some insight into how I'm storing them, uh, but really like these plates as well. And as I've mentioned, I've been really impressed with all of the stuff that Jim Way has really brought to the market that I've gotten my hands on. So if you're interested in taking a look at them, again, you can get a discount on any of their bars if you use the code BASEMENT, 
or if you're thinking about getting something through them because it looks cool, but you hadn't really known anyone to use it, I can vouch that they are very high quality commercial grade type equipment. Or if you're even looking into maybe doing some private label stuff yourself, they do offer some very high quality stuff that you can then slap your name on and take credit for. Um, and they're also nice enough that way I think we're going to end up doing a giveaway. So if you made it to the last and the end of this video, I think we're gonna give away some plates. I think we're gonna give away a bar. You're gonna have to follow me on Instagram to find out more details. And obviously this is going to be very time sensitive. So make sure you also look at the description box to see when this video is posted, because if it's a year or two old, chances are you're not gonna win that contest. If you have any questions about this or anything else that I've shown in this video, let me know in the comments section below. But in the meantime, as always, thanks for watching and stay big.